we continue to open things with um, restrictions. Uh, uh, we are, <clears throat> this is part of a gradual process and we're trying to avoid uh, what has happened in other jurisdictions around the country where we're having reopened, they're now experiencing major upticks in cases and some jurisdictions are pondering walking back. Uh, they're lifting of restrictions and we'd like not to do that. We'd like to get ourselves opened, opened effectively and not have to walk things back, but to be able to continue to slowly um, improve our openings as the conditions in the county improve. I have to emphasize um, that even though we're reopening, it doesn't mean that the two signature things of personal protection are going to change. Um, we are going to require um, businesses to reopen, that they have to require mask um, face coverings when people come in the store and face coverings for their employees. This is not negotiable, it's not optional. It's a condition of what people have to do to reopen and it's an expectation we have. The only reason we got to this point is because of physical distancing and face coverings. Two changes from what we thought we were gonna do um, when we put out the initial guidance on opening is we are gonna allow indoor pools and outdoor pools to open for, for activities other than lap swimming, but we are gonna have limits on capacity and the time that, um, that sessions in the pool are open. We're gonna be very aggressive about requiring cleaning and sanitation of facilities in the pools. And uh, we're gonna ask people to socially distance because you're in a, in a pool doesn't mean you should be horsing around with each other or doing anything in the pool that we would tell you not to do when you're out of the pool. So hopefully people will follow this guidance. I think the only thing is not requiring you to wear a mask in the pool. But other than that, we want people to continue to follow this guidance. Uh, the other things that will open were, are the shopping malls. Um, we will have restrictions. The food courts will not be opening. And we are not going to allow people to gather in the mall as you go from one store to another. They're open for shopping. Um, people should enter the mall, go to the stores they want to shop at. This is not an opportunity to sit on the benches and hang out with people and talk. Um, this is open for shopping, not for socializing. We have seen a uh, significant improvement in our metrics and our data dashboard. Uh, and particularly over the last four to five days, the number of new cases that we have seen have dropped significantly. Our average is now under 100. Uh, and we had multiple days where there, our case count was in the 50s, uh, as well as a couple of days in the 70s. So we continue to monitor that. This is potentially encouraging because it's in the setting of increased testing efforts across the county. Um, to date, we have tested over 74,000 residents, uh, which is approximately 7.3% of our population, and we have conducted over 87,000 tests. Uh, in the last seven days, the test positivity average has dropped to 7.6%, which again is significantly lower than where we experienced in early May, around 30%. Now, I will caution, however, is that even though we are seeing lower numbers of cases compared to where we were 14 days ago, we still see pockets of the virus within our community. And so our efforts moving forward is a continued, very active approach that continues to address the concerns for the county overall, but is really honing in on those areas where we continue to see increased cases. And we are looking to expand our testing access in those zip code areas, as well as access to our contact tracing mechanisms and other outreach uh, measures that we know um, are effective in terms of mitigating further transmission.